What's up guys, Vern here, Pogiboy Productions, as you can probably see from the thumbnail and from the video description, I finally bought a new camera, this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and what I'm going to do is unbox it for you guys to see what's inside, and you've probably already seen so many YouTube videos about this, and all the super changes that they had compared to the previous models, like the Pocket 2, Pocket 1. And I know uh, I have a couple of friends from the YouTube world that actually use the Pocket. And it's interesting because it's very small compared to my Sony ZV-1. And uh, so many upgrades to it that I decided to upgrade our camera ourselves. myself. I like the form factor, the size. But anyway, let's unbox this first. We're going to put it to the test compared to the Sony ZV-1. And I'm going to let you know why I think this is going to be our camera 90% of the time that we're going to go film a video so anyway guys keep watching So this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Just look how small it is in my hand. Nice snug fit factor compared to the Sony ZV-1. So yeah, you can see the size difference totally. Both have one inch sensors. Uh, the thing I like about this as well is there is an app. Make sure you guys download the Mimo app. I'll leave a description on the screen. You can download it on the Play Store or through uh, Apple if you have iPhone 
Uh, also, like I said, this takes type C cable to charge and to download. You could actually download all the video to an app. This one is straight up. I think there's a way to do it without a wire, without connecting it to the computer to download. I'm not sure, I haven't played with it. But I also don't like that it still uses the USB, micro USB charge point, right, the cable. I think everything right now should be USB-C cables because majority of all my tech is Type-C. Even the iPhone is getting rid of their uh, charging cables, right? So I don't know if the new, this is a, uh, not sure, this is one of the first generation Sony ZV-1s. I know they had maybe two more iterations of it. So I don't know if they changed the cable, but it served me well. As you can see, this thing is already broken. The latch doesn't close anymore. This is actually where you would plug in for your microphone, right? So uh, anyway, we're gonna check out some video, put it to test and see which one feels better, which one does better. I think they both have their merits, but you know, we'll give it a test and uh, check it out. All right, guys. So I have the, the gimbal on my GGI here on my left. The Sony v, ZV-1 on my right. So this is the night mode. How does it look to you guys? Not bad, right? Looks pretty good. Uh, now I'm not a camera expert, so you probably can get even better shots and just work with it, but not bad, right? From what I see, it looks pretty good, but you know, make your own decision. What do you think? All right, I'm at the park. It's like six in the morning, so it's kind of dark still. Uh, what do you think of the clarity? It's still not bad for night shot. East Coast time, you know, so we got the, it's still dark in the morning, dark at night, but yeah, not bad. I'm gonna test out the gimbal. As you know, uh, the DJI on my left has a, what do you call it? Um, mechanical gimbal whereas the Sony ZV-1 on my right is pure digital so it's probably cropped in my face and I, I feel like it's not the best their smoothness I mean you could set it to active and standard or not at all I had this on active but you could still kind of see a little bit of wobbliness where I feel like the mechanical gimbal on the Osmo it's perfect. You still have to walk like a ninja in order to get the best, you know, no no shakiness, but it's a good start. I'm gonna start running in a bit just to see how these gimbals fare together. All right, let's try it. All right, I'm gonna start running. Let's do it. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. <laughs> Let me know how. It looks in the back. Is it shaky? Which one is doing better or what? I could already tell you the Osmo is really smooth. Whereas the ZV-1, you probably could see a little bit of the bounciness. Alright. Something that I like about the DJI Mini Pocket 3 is the ability to shoot in uh, different modes seamlessly. It's just the press of the button. So here I'm, I'm pointing it at this fountain. But if I press it on the screen, it quickly rotates and there you go. That's pretty cool, right? And it's face tracking enabled so I can move left and right and it sees me. And you know, it's just a matter of pressing that button. Whoop, there you go. Whereas with the Sony ZV-1, I'd have to kind of do it manually and it kind of looks a little awkward unless I do some editing to make it look smooth. But this is cool for those of you who like selfies. All right, I got this in focus mode. It should be following my face. Yeah, it is. It looks like this. This is going to be cool. Let's uh, test out something really cool. I'm gonna s show you guys the type of filter effects, like it'll make your skin smooth, make you look a whole lot 
better looking, more poggier on video. So uh, let's give this a try. See, uh, see what the final results look like. All right, how do I look, guys? I know for the Sony ZV-1, it's a softening effect. It makes your skin softer. I think it gets rid of a little bit of wrinkles. So this is what I look like with all that filter with the DJ Osmo Mini. How do I look? It's supposed to uh, make my teeth look whiter, make my face skinnier, get rid of all the wrinkles. Check out my lashes. Check out, check out those eyebrows. Whoa. Looks like I got them threaded. <laughs> So yeah, I look like an anime character actually. It looks like a, this is way too much, but you could mess around with the filter to your liking. I want to see, I want to see people do vlogs with this. The only thing is if you use these type of filters, you have to download the app and download the video through your phone. You can't d directly download it from your device, but uh, yeah, not bad, right? I actually look kind of Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not bad. So there it is, the DJI Mini 3, the perfect vlogging camera, I think. Right size, look how small and compact it is. There's the Sony ZV-1, and as you've seen through my testing, has so much things going for it. The gimbal itself is a game changer. I don't have to carry a, a bulky ass gimbal. Better than a, better than a digital gimbal, right? Digital, uh, smoothness this is very smooth in terms of shooting also I didn't show it but here with the DJI Mini 3 it does come with uh, lenses like I opened one it has the GoPro uh, like wide angle lens so maybe I'll do a little test on that but you know I don't think it's much of a difference and I, I also ordered this I think it's the smoky filter uh, lens didn't come in yet. I like it that you could just magnetically, magnetically attach it here on the camera itself, and you can store it here on the case so it doesn't get lost when you carry this around with you. Put it in your pocket, and you're ready to film. So, uh, will I be changing camera? I think for the most part, yep. Especially if we're gonna do uh, vlogging style, you know, walking around. But this isn't going away. I'm still gonna be using this. A lot but this is gonna take up most 90% of our shooting vlogs of our video so I also have the GoPro but that's gonna be more for action shots and action video and maybe you know we'll see we'll take it out once in a while <laughs> so it's good to have options especially if you are in the YouTube space and you need cameras so anyway guys hope you enjoyed that video if you like it make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't yet hit that red button down below ring the bell so you get notified of all our future videos like comment and share i'll see you in the next one bye guys